So, hello, hello. Um, 151 Pokemon in one sheet. Where should I start? Um, I really had no logic for the process whatsoever. I just downloaded a list of the 151 Gen 1 Pokemon and while drawing I would scratch them off one by one. So yeah, that, that took a lot. I'm not gonna lie, the process itself took probably about 15 hours. But it's, I was really, really feeling inspired and passionate about this, so it wasn't a problem at all. I'm using a B pencil because it's really, really hard to smudge and quite easy to erase. So my advice would be use a B pencil. And um, here, patience is key, really. You're probably gonna think about halfway, uh, I'm not gonna do this, I mean, it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna be great, whatever. I mean, I'm still convinced mine doesn't look great, but it, it actually pays off. It's not as perfect as you thought it would be, but it actually pays off. So my advice would be just go with it. Now, once you're fully satisfied with your sketching, grab your ink pens, here I'm using Copic Multiliners, pretty good stuff, I'd say, and uh, go over your drawing with some confidence. Inking is really, really a different process from the sketching one. It's all about confidence, really. Your strokes have to be really, really precise and firm over the pencil. My advice would be 0.3 millimeters for the outer lines of each Pokemon or each figure you're drawing and uh, a 0.05 to create a beautiful contrast between thick lines and thin lines. This whole inking part took me, I don't know, three hours. This was pretty fast compared to the others. Seriously, do not underestimate this part. Um, just, just take your time, listen to some music and try to enjoy it as much as you can because it really, really can change the whole look of your drawing. If you don't pay the right attention to it, you could absolutely regret it at the end. So as for the colouring part, Jesus Christ, this was by far the longest process of all. I used, I don't know, like a million colours or something like that. It took me, I don't probably four days. I worked quite hard, I would say. I really wanted it to be as nearly as perfect as I could. So basically the first layer is is done with the uh, pro markers from Winsor and Newton and then I apply some Prismacolor pens all over it. Now this gives a great effect I think because you've got a lot more colors to choose from and it gives absolutely more depth to the drawing itself because you can you can just add so many colors so many shades once you get the hang of it it's not really that hard for me, the hardest thing is actually choosing the colors to use. But man, Pokemon are tough. I mean, there are so many colors here. Everyone is pretty much different from another. And you've got all the shadows you got to deal with. Just take your time, really. Uh, there's nothing else I can say. Uh, I will maybe make another tutorial for, for the coloring part. But for now that's pretty much all I can say to you. I really really hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you did please like and subscribe and I guess um, see you next time. If you got any questions of any kind just leave a comment and ask me I'll be more than happy to reply to you.
was a sight for my soul. I, 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 I